You guys aren't going to believe what other players are trying to sell in Grand Theft Auto Online. We've been talking a lot about scams recently here on the channel, and uh, this one I think is pretty interesting. So I saw this post the other day from Reckless Chomp on the GTA Online Reddit, who said, people are selling Act 2 for real cash. That was the title of his post. Now he's referring to the Doomsday Heist Act 2, I'm assuming either the finale or one of the setups, although I, you would assume the finale because that's the one that makes you a lot of money. So here's his exact post. He said, just today on Facebook, a guy was selling Act 2 for cash, $10 for $4 million. And first I thought the comments would be people laughing at them, but actually a couple people are agreeing to buy. They're people who actually buy shark cards. But given $1.2 million in-game is $19, this guy's offer is a steal. He claims he takes 15 to 16 minutes to complete one round, and within one hour, he will get you the $4 million. This guy is reinventing shark cards, but cheaper. So on a capitalistic and entrepreneur level, this is genius. Is it legal? I'm not sure. And that's kind of what we're going to be discussing in this video today. So let's break it down. Essentially, what this guy is doing is advertising on Facebook, just a social media platform, that he, it kind of sounds like, will take your account and then do Act 2 of the Doomsday Heist. He'll complete it in about an hour and you'll have $4 million, which I guess makes sense. So for $10 and an hour of your time that you don't play GTA, you'll end up with $4 million. In theory, that sounds like a steal, but there's a lot of things that can go wrong here. Uh, number one, we do need to talk about the legality of something like this. If Rockstar catches on to this, uh, there's a good chance that they're going to shut it down. And there's a good chance that you could lose your account as well. Uh, number two, it also just sounds really sketchy. Like the fact that it seems like you have to give this guy your account information. I mean, why would you give someone your account information even if he has really good reviews? Like there's a chance this dude could just turn around and flip your account and sell it. And then you don't have an account at all and you gave him uh, your money. So that's another thing that kind of concerns me. The third thing that concerns me here is it almost sounds too good to be true. I did the Doomsday Heist and I don't remember getting $4 million at the end of it by doing all the setups and then the finale. So do you actually get $4 million for completing Act 2? I, I don't think you do. So I think that completing it within an hour is not possible, and I don't think getting $4 million uh, is possible. So what's kind of funny is this reminds me of sort of memories I had back on Xbox 360, where players and modders would charge like $5 for money drop lobbies. It was the most insane, cringy thing ever. You'd have a modder come into a lobby advertising that he would do a money drop, uh, he would get like an Xbox party together and he would make people pay like $5 to get in his lobby. It's pretty crazy. Now, I have seen and heard of some success stories. Like some people on this thread said they paid $10 for a friend of a friend to give them $300 million on PS3 GTA 5. And it's lasted him until now. And he says it's totally worth it. But again, I think that is a sort of one-off lucky thing than something that you would expect to work every single time. So this of course is not exclusive to Grand Theft Auto. People do this in World of Warcraft, RuneScape, tons of other online games where you're interacting with other players. So this isn't really anything that's all that new. I think the big problem here is shark cards. I think this is the problem since day one. Shark cards don't give you enough money for what you're paying. I think that shark cards should almost be double. So for example, the Megalodon shark card, the one that cost $100, instead of that giving you $8 million uh, normal without any bonuses, I think it should give you $16 million by default with any other added bonuses uh, just being extra. So honestly, I think the reason people are doing this and are basically undercutting shark cards is because their value is so terrible. However, if Rockstar does get wind of this, they're probably gonna shut this down. But the reason I made this video is to just sort of protect you. Like, this sounds really enticing and it sounds like it's worthwhile to spend 10 bucks, which, you know, you might get for, you know, doing a, a simple job around the house or something like that. 
or who knows, uh, and you get $4 million for your favorite video game. But I would just hate for something to go wrong. Like you hear all these stories of, you know, really bad things happening when players sort of trust someone else to get money on their account. And sometimes there are success stories where you get multiple millions of dollars for like 10 bucks. But I would hate for you guys to trust something like this and end up losing your account that you've spent years and years and years uh, building up. So that's what people are selling in Grand Theft Auto Online, like undercutting shark cards. <laughs> I mean, in one way, as I said in the beginning of this video, I'm impressed with the entrepreneurial spirit and capitalistic mindset of these people. But is it legal? I'm not sure. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think of people doing something like this? Would you want to take advantage of something like that? Uh, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.